I got achievement. Yes! Hello, YouTube! I'm back, and let's do more endings. Sorry, that was loud. What did it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Uh, yes. Perhaps he had simply missed a This memory. game is pretty addicting. Kind of. Maybe. Sort of. Okay, yeah, but I have an idea for what we can do next. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ugh, oh, you know the story, employee lounges. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible. Now, obviously we can go up ago. there, but I think I want to explore the rest of this area, Look, Stanley, which means going through the red door. Off on the wrong foot here. Um, yes, we have narrator. I realize that investing I hate your you. trust in someone else can be difficult, Especially but the fact is that the story is... Well, not really, I guess. Really? You were kind of nice to me on that last ending. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration so for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? <laughs> Why? I don't know how yes, to convince you of this, but evil. I really do want Especially to Especially that first ending I got with freaking countdown. Beautiful. Oh, that was terrible. Let, let me prove it. Let okay. me prove that I'm on your side. Okay. Give me a chance. I don't know if I believe Now you. listen carefully, this Should is I important. Give you a chance? Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah, sure, because that's the only other way I'm gonna get this ending. Yes. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Mm. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? Sure. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. I think here. we're going in circles. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. <laughs> don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, many I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Hmm. Here, let me show you. Okay. Well, <laughs> I got a glimpse of the door there, that's weird. But it works, it works, doesn't it? What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Is this like a... Here. Oh. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is kind of beautiful. just stay right here, right in wow. this moment with this place. I'm amazed. Stanley, I think I feel happy. He's happy? I actually feel happy. Oh, too bad I can't walk <laughs> off. That would be kind of awesome, though. This is actually kind of pretty. There's somewhere I can go, but I don't know. I want to see if something happens if I stay here long enough. Probably nothing, but you know, I could give it a try. This is pretty awesome, though. Ooh, colors. Colors! They're everywhere! Scattering colors. Yes. So colorful. Is this just one of those things where, like, I just sit here forever while the narrator does nothing? Uh, I hope not, because that would get boring. Not the funnest! Or maybe there is more that happens. Or maybe not. No? No, it's not. Okay. Screw it! Who cares about narrator being happy? No, wait. Where are you going? Oh, no! Stay away oh. from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, oh. if you die, the game will oh. be <laughs> we'll lose hell. all of this. We'll lose all of this happiness. Well, narrator, I have something to tell you, man. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. I will kill myself. I will take it away from you. I will take your happiness away. <gasps> Goodbye, cruel world. No! Oh. Oh. Okay, then. Thank God. You know. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? That's good why Please, I have captions, because I might skip some I'm asking you not to take this away from dialogue. me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Wow, he, he really wants me to stay with him. He's happy, man. He's, like, fulfilled. But I'm not letting him, man. I'm gonna break my legs. Slowly. Although, I do wonder what kind of happens when I go back. Probably something. Stanley... Let's go back to the other well, I'm room. walking really slow now. Can you do that for me? You know what? I don't know what's gonna yes. happen. So let's do it. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. 
I know you'll see. Hmm. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? Am I still walking slower? I really don't know. This is weird. It's like he wants me to be happy and he wants him to be happy. But, you know, I just wanted that dialogue because I'm evil. Perhaps not. I think he's confused now. Oh my god. Is this really how much you dislike my game? Wow. Did you throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Really? You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Um, yes, yes, you are. Whew. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't kick know anymore. Out of it. I just wanted us to get along, but I guess uh, that was too much to I ask. I feel bad for him now. It looks like you wanted to make. I'm a so sorry, you know. narrator. Well, the the end. The is oh, it over? That's the end. It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Poor, poor narrator. Wow, that was actually kind of depressing. All right, let's find a different ending. <laughs> like whatever. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, what, what's another way I can go? Um, there's one way I think I could go on the left door, like towards the he entered the door. The mind control left. area, but. Let's explore an entirely different route. Let's go that way where that thing room, chases you or well. brings you up into Perhaps that he wanted platform. to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Yeah, let's do that. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No one needs open doors. Ba -ba 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 following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yeah, we saw that sign. Okay. Look, Stanley, Let's I think go up here. we've gotten off on the or wherever this thing takes here. us. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Yeah, I realize no, that investing in your close. trust in Probably someone not. else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. True. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Hmm. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. What? This is it, her. Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. What's going on? To put your work aside. To let her What's back What's going into on? Your life. She's Who? been waiting. Who has been waiting? She. Who the hell is she? GLaDOS? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. What? To reach out What's to What's going on? If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. You know what? I will. Because I want to. What happened? I'm in an apartment? Hey, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Okay, okay. then. This is weird. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, Mannequin. come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? Mm. I'm trying to make a this point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come yeah, inside. This is weird. Let me show you what's really going on here. Mm -hmm. This is weird. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stan. What? What's going on? Good morning, employee 427. Press B on your keyboard. Mm, do I have to? Is it, like, required? Fine. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Mm. What is wrong with this game? Look at him there, pushing oh my buttons, Lord. doing exactly what he's told to do. <laughs> he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. <gasps> I don't even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen his life. My wife is kind of ugly. Oh yes, eight. But in his mind, ah. 
in his mind, is it the eight game from the demo? I know it's like an eight game achievement. So from behind his desk. Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions no. into the unknown. Nothing's happening. Fantastic discoveries. Mm, that probably would have been the achievement. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would mm. ever happen to him. Press L or is I? L. No, it's I. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. This is weird. Uh, what? He went first. I don't like where this is he going. that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to be right. eight, eight. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind control. Oh, yeah, definitely. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. I have kids. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some this new is, path. Must never this is interesting. Perhaps if he played so just one the narrator suggesting that this is the story of how he was so bored with his job that... But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Mm. The longer he spends here, the more invested he So yeah, he it's like he... The more he forgets after this is real, is it's real all in his mind. He just wants it because he's bored. This is really And I'm trying wow. to tell him this. That in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he <laughs> I don't here, like the sending he's really killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. Nope. Not at all. What is this? Um, narrator? That's great that I'm not pushing the button, but I need some kind of stimulant to prevent it me from not pressing the button. Narrator! Narrator! Ah, uh, screw it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? What? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Well, by first putting a frickin' stimulant for me not to press I buttons. Can't. Not in the way I want him to. Uh, rules, I simply play to my intended I'm confused. If this is in my head, why are you telling me not to commit suicide? So uh, this is weird. I'll try once more to what the heck? this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I... What's going on? This is not what All I'm used to. Co-workers were gone. What could it mean? But this is Standard not the same. The meeting room. What's Perhaps going on? A memo. This is weird. I'm pretty sure this is. Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. So, are we still not in that ending? What's the deal? I'm con I'm now confuzzled. 
All right, well, I'm going to go back to the right door. This was door. not the correct way to the meeting uh, room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Uh, Perhaps he wanted this game to is starting to like, really first, severely confuse just to me. Admire it. And I don't know if I like that anymore. <laughs> I don't get this game anymore. What but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, I'm going to try one more thing. And I think Stanley once I've done all the paths I can find, I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, look at it like a graphic online to see if there's anything else. But I'm going to try not to press the phone. On the wrong foot and if that doesn't work, I'll just cut the video or something. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Yeah, but this narrator not is just... For me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. What is that? She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. Mm. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the. Oh no 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 no! You can't. <laughs> hey, that's what I was just thinking. Like outlet. Mm. So that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> double check. That was a pretty yeah, awesome choice. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect. <laughs> How is that even possible? I don't know, I man, but I love. I hate my wife. Anything. She's a mannequin. I don't understand. How on earth are you I'm making munched. meaningful choices? No, what did you. Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? No, it's what You're sooner. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been uh -huh. able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's wow. as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Uh. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. Whoa, I'm this guy's going all out, man. So we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Instructional video, eh? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. Yes. But if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. Okay. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Okay. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Okay. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. <laughs> if you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make oh sense, in all Lord. likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having uh, a back sack and crack. My goodness, something about sack. Practice. Okay, my goodness, something about the sack. Excellent. <laughs> sack. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Yay! Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? eight Less? Eight, 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 and finally, eight, eight, if you no. begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful, <laughs> whether work. you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At okay. this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Hmm. Ah, welcome back. 
you may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Yeah. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, Ooh. we're going to revisit a choice you made oh, just a few ugly. minutes ago. I never like And see what the correct textures. thing to do would have been. This way, please. Hmm. This is weird. That was certainly the choice, though. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Apparently not. Can I, uh... <laughs> that'd be awesome if I get to fall off. But apparently not, so... Eh, he knows better, I guess. Hmm. Some weird textures up there on the corner. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Take the door on my left. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Okay. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 